Hi, my name is Louise Dolan. So I'm here to discuss capabilities, ambitions, networking and demand and opportunity, barriers and how to overcome through coaching, but also the considerations of the highlands and lowlands, um, which may be that extra layer of the isolation and feeling of isolation as a young entrepreneur, but the realistic side of it is maybe a reduced supply chain, reduced funding, reduced access to knowledge. So again, being involved in a business such as yourself is vital for young entrepreneurs. So I'd look at capabilities and look at the individual and the business. So the individual leadership and management, are they ready for the business environment? What further skills do they need to manage themselves and to manage the business? And that could be through courses or particular coaching interventions. I'd look at the business as well. Can it be commercialized? They'll be very passionate, but can it be commercialized? So looking back at the business model itself, you could use business model canvas. You could use foundation matrix or orbit. Um, really to get some tangible information down and also due diligence down as well around the individual, their particular expertise in this area as well. Very vital if they want to draw down any money, any grant money, access to finance, to have that and transfer that information into a business case. So I'd support them in that way. Um, looking at an ambition, it's really keeping them motivated, looking for that mentor perhaps in the same sector, um, keeping them motivated with that creativity, any benchmarking they can do, any support, any events, any way they can network, like for like peers, to keep them in that creativity uh, mindset. Uh, networking as well, absolutely vital. And I talked about restrictions before, um, access to knowledge. So how can they collaborate? How can they knowledge exchange? How can they network? What organizations are appropriate? What is in their local market? But also if they want to access uh, international markets as well, do they know the Department of Trade, for example? Do they know their membership body in their particular sector? You know, who is the most relevant people if they want to further collaborate and push forward in innovation, do some testing, for example, what's the best university? So I would look to analyze that out and find those connections. So help them on that business to business from there. Um, finally, looking at demand and opportunity. It's fantastic. All SMEs will cry out to me. We want money. Uh, we want customers. So money we've covered a little bit, you know, seed funding, basically, but they need to have their house in order. Um, customers, can they sell? Great. Where are your customers? Have you done your market research? So again, some of the restrictions you may think about is your localized market. Is that quite restrictive? So will it sell in your localized market? But they do say in a lot of research does indicate that a lot of innovative businesses do export. So again, are you looking to be uh, an exporter? You know, do you know the sort of business to business contacts you need? Do you know the contacts for exporting? Do you understand Brexit, for example? So I'd look to support with those introductions and the information around Brexit as well. OK, so thank you very much for your time. I hope that's um, very briefly answered the brief. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to contact me. OK, thank you very much. Thank you.